this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my skin, beginning to thaw from within. We have a confession to make. We used to live here for about nine years and we didn't do any of the things that you're about to see in the video. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This lighthouse was is actually the first lighthouse um, approved by the U.S. Congress in 1791. Yep. And it actually was in use for 90 years until the one behind us took over. Yeah, this is pretty cool. There's a lot of steps, a lot of climbing. I think there was uh, shy of 200 steps to get to the top up here, and there were about 85 steps to get from the building to the base of the lighthouse. So. We're definitely getting a leg work out of it today. Yeah. But it's a cool view and a yeah. very cool lighthouse. It is. This is. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better day. I mean, you could see for miles. Yeah. Um, and again, we've got the ocean to our back. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I almost ate it. Uh -huh. cooler than I thought. Come to find out this lighthouse was the very first approved public works construction ever done in the U.S. And good old George Washington looked over the plans and approved it himself. So that's a little bit of history right here in Virginia Beach that we never saw. So how lucky are we that we got two lighthouses for the price of one? That's right. And that lighthouse is guarding the beach right now. So I think we need to go over there and put our toes in the water. Yeah, I think we need to go over there. And the, the lighthouse you see behind us is an active lighthouse. And there's an actual Coast Guard station over there. Um, so we weren't able to go over there because they're actually working. Yeah. And we are on the base, by the way. Which, which base is Fort this? Story. Oh, okay. Yeah, duh. Fort, Fort Story. But if you're not military, since this is a National Historic Site, you can gain access to the base to come here and check it out. Yeah, I believe they have a shuttle from the gate that gets you here. There's a parking area. I just heard some people talking about it. Um, yeah. We haven't laid eyes on it, but uh, we think that's how you get here. But you can make it happen. Yep. Um, the cost of the lighthouse tour was eight bucks for us for the military discount. I think it's 10 if you're not military, but it's still pretty inexpensive and yeah. very cool. Yeah. And you should know that if you're less than this tall, you're not allowed in the lighthouse. So right. She just made the cut. 42 inches or less, they're not going to let you in because they're worried about people falling. Yeah, the stairs, the, st the spiral staircase can be a little tricky. So, all right, let's go to the beach. Let's hit it. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our We are in Kip, Kip to Peak State, State Park. Park. Kip to Peak State Park. Which is along the Chesapeake Bay. We came over here across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Yep. And we were so excited because we were going to come out here and kayak. And I'll show you what we were going to kayak to in just a minute. We get all the way over here. And in true Farley fashion. And we paid $15 yeah. to go over the bridge, mind you. And we paid $7 to come into the park. And wah, wah. Wah, wah. they don't start raining kayaks until May 15th. 
So we didn't see that part on the website, nor was it on the website. I don't think. No, I looked at the state park, and that's where I saw the kayaks we could rent, and I was super excited. Oh, and we just talked to the guy, and um, the, the, the guy, yeah, you know that guy. <laughs> we just talked to someone about um, kayaks, and um, of course, Phil told him we were full time because he tells everyone we're full time, and he offered us a camp post job. So. If you're looking for a camp post gig, this would actually be a really cool location. Now, the sole reason we wanted to kayak out here is because we wanted to get up close and personal with these concrete ships behind us. That's right. You heard it. Concrete ships. <laughs> they were actually built in the 40s for World War II when we ran short on steel. Yeah. So, and they were actually used during the war. Yeah. Concrete ships. It's such to carry a weird cargo. Concept. They carried cargo to Japan. Yeah. Um, and that's phenomenal. I'd never heard of a concrete ship, let alone nine of them. Um, so what you're seeing um, in the video are these nine concrete ships that were placed here. They only had a short lifespan. They were placed here as a reef in 1948. Well, actually they were used as, um, what is it, a barrier for the wake? I forget what it's called when you, when you put something in there to protect the shore because there were ferries actually running from this side of the water all the way over to the Virginia Beach side and it just helped with the ferries and loading and unloading. But now it is a huge reef for lots of marine animals. Yeah, and if you're uh, into scuba diving, you can come out here in scuba, you can fish out here, you just can't go on them. Yeah. Um, but I still think it's it's pretty cool. And I'm still bummed, so it's staying on our to-do list. Yeah. We will come back here and I will <laughs> kayak out there and get up close and personal. Yeah, for sure. We're, we're trying to figure out how much money we have between us so we can kind of talk to a few of these boaters and maybe take us out there, but they all seem to be packing up right now. I know, they all went the wrong way. I have a few bucks, we could bribe them. Yeah. But I hope you enjoy this. This was something that we never heard of and it was just something that we had to come see. And of course we lived in this area for how long? How did we not yeah. know they exist? Again, don't be like us. Yes, get out and explore your own backyard. And for those who are tired of sleeping in their RV and want a different change of scenery, this campground has something really cool you can rent. How about your own little yurt? That's right, they have cabins and yurts. This is super cool. And you have your own deck and your own rocking chairs. You can sit here in the sun or as the sun's going down and then the water is right through the trees. Now that's pretty cool, right? Very cool. So you and your friends can rent yurts and be neighbors. Check it out. This is not how I camped as a kid, let me tell you. So if you're in this area or if you're traveling through, this was a pretty nice campground. Yeah, it was really nice, wide open. I liked it. So there are some sites that aren't very level if you have a larger rig, but the smaller rigs won't have any problems at all. And I definitely think the state park has a lot to offer. So the beach, the kayaks, the it was really nice. Yeah, it, it definitely would be on our list of, of places to come back to for sure. Yeah, so... But we have to. We didn't get the kayak. Right, so, so the bucket list isn't over. So stay tuned because this won't be our first <laughs> screw up. There'll be lots more happening. So we will teach you what not to do along the way. <laughs> We're in downtown Norfolk at the USS Wisconsin. And to be fair, when we were here before, 
Phil was actually stationed on a ship. Yeah, I lived on board ship, worked on board ship, deployed on board the ship. Didn't want to come spend my time <laughs> visiting a decommissioned ship. But now we do, now it's fun. Yeah, so now we're, I'm excited. I, I don't think I've ever been on a battleship. So this will be kind of cool. No, I, I ha we have been. We've been yeah. on the battleship Missouri what about in the, Hawaii. What's the Blue Ridge? That's not a battleship. Oh, what was it? Communications. Oh, I was on that one. <laughs> it's not even anywhere remote. The Blue Ridge is a command control ship. I knew it was the Admiral hung out on there, but exactly. you know. Okay. We're crossing the line here, so we have to tell everyone, are you a Wagga or Shellback? Oh, I'm definitely a Shellback. As am I. Exactly. So we got our butts beat back in the day when they actually did beat your butt. Yeah. Not like it is now. Not it's... to inflict pain, but yeah, all in oh, good fun. Oh, well, I there don't know. Some there pain, was some pain but, inflicted. Yeah, but it was all in good fun, and it was part of tradition, um, and the history that went along with it was really cool. So now it's a kinder, gentler Navy, and yeah. they ease them over the equator now. They don't yes. thrust them like back in our day. <laughs> yeah. So our son is also a shellback. He is. He just did it last year. And I guess our son-in-law, who is a... Um, Land lover. Yeah. <laughs> he will probably never be a shellback. And it sucks to be him. Yeah. You smell it? I smell it already. It's yeah. like we never left. <laughs> ah, home. Fuel. <laughs> yeah, fuel. Oh, the smell of fuel. Fuel oil in the air is... Uh, it brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. Hello, folks. Good afternoon. Welcome aboard. Yes, sir. Come aboard. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard. Make way to begin the bow. Make a loop around. So that is six big guns. You can't even see Phil. He just did, uh, no, not those guns. But nice try. Some facts about the Wisconsin. She's about 887 feet long, 108 feet wide. I think she's about 56 tons. 58 tons. Um, she's been in three different campaigns: World War II. Um, Korea and Desert Storm, and each time she sailed into conflict, she had a different number of crews. So the first first um, conflict they were in, World War II, they had 2,700 crew members on board. Um, second campaign, Korea, they had 2,500 crew members on board, and then Desert Storm, they went down to 1,700. So they were doing less or more with less. All right, so the Wisconsin was um, commissioned in 1944, and she was decommissioned in 1991. You've got to check out these old wooden decks. That is so cool. Can you imagine dealing with the wooden decks? They had to be sanded. I know, that's what I mean. That's Teak. a lot of work. Yep. But, and they had to replace them every time one of them shells came out and, and hit it, oh, and jacked it up. It. That's why they used it. That's, what is that? Turn two? No. Oh, sweepers. sweepers. Oh, sweepers. We never did it like that. Wow. Never, we never piped it like that. You saw our um, breakdown. Our now you know, know the breakdown. Oh, the breakdown. That's right. Um, we talked about sweepers, sweepers, man your brooms. Now you know where it came from. Yeah. That means get your butt to work and literally sweep the Grab ship. Grab a broom and get, get, broom and get to sweeping. So this here is where the signalman, the signalman rating was um, back in the day. All the flags that you see on the ships that are flying, different types of flags were all stored here. There's one on either side of the ship. And anytime we would change direction or we were doing something at sea, a different type of flag would go up to, to indicate to other vessels around what the ship was doing. Check out these racks. <laughs> when I was on the ship, I had a middle rack, which was this one here. This, the middle rack is prime real estate. This is prime real estate right here. You're a salty dog if you have a well, middle rack. I just got lucky, that's all. Although some, the person above me always stepped on my freaking bed. Yeah. So this was all the space you had. This was oh, home. these don't have lockers either. The no, middle they one. have 
No, the, they don't have the, just the bottom, bottom is the coffin rack. So on our ship, the first two, rack one, the one on the, the bottom, and the one in the middle, so I had a coffin rack too. So everything I owned was in that. Well, you had one of these. You had a stand-up. That was on my uniforms, though. Yeah, you had a stand-up. So talk about um, downsizing and purging. <laughs> yeah. When you were in your rack, when you wanted privacy and you wanted to close the door, there was no door. Mm. You closed your curtains. There oh, you now nobody can see or hear you. There's your privacy right there. And and it had these little straps right here. So if we were in heavy seas and taking on rolls, this would keep you from falling out. Six guys that have to get ready in this space. Well, just there's six here. There's six there. There's three more there. Everybody, you're scrunched in. What we were just saying a second ago before we walked in here, these beds are literally put in a main hallway by the post office. So back in the day when they were building these ships, literally they put beds where whatever open spaces they could. So, and look, now we're in a major hallway. So how would you like to have your bed here? Um, correction, it's a passageway at a hallway. Check out this computer system. This was some serious technology back in the day. Okay, I'm lying. You know the Navy was always at least 10 to 15 years behind. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Phil, how was your walk down memory lane? Oh man, I miss it. I miss it. I was like a kid in a candy store. I'm dragging and kicking and screaming, but we gotta go. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. This brought back a ton of memories. Of, of the seven ships that I was on in my time. Well, as we said earlier, all the things that we've shown you today, we never did while we were stationed here in uh, the Norfolk area or the Virginia Beach area. And this is just our way of reminding you that if you haven't launched yet, to get out and see your own neighborhood. Yeah. Go do a staycation. There's so much to do even before you start full-timing. Yeah, and it's a great way to, to get out and practice your videoing. Oh yeah, if you want your own channel. That's, that is an yep. excellent idea. Yep, get out tour your own neighborhood, your own neck of the woods, Yep. Um, get it all out of the way, and then when you hit the road, you'll be a pro. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And we will see you on, on the, the road. road. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I rubbed off on you from yesterday. <laughs> She's lovely.